Welcome back to Idaho Voyager. We are back out on the road and today an update on how to improve your MPG when towing coming right up. We're headed back out to Zion National Park in Southern Utah. We were there briefly uh, a year ago and we promised ourselves we wanted to go back and explore it a little bit more thoroughly. So we're headed down uh, this week. On the trip down, I uh, thought it'd be interesting to do an MPG test uh, while towing. And this is an update uh, to a video I posted about a year ago. And in that video, I really dialed in uh, the ideal miles per hour traveled to maximize fuel consumption. And you can see the link to that video in the top right hand corner of the screen. And the genesis of that video was that uh, when towing, at least for us, going 60 miles an hour was the magic number to maximize fuel consumption. And um, used a pretty loose and broad example of a trip we had taken to Oregon where we were going 65 or 70 miles an hour and I noticed I was not getting as efficient a fuel consumption rate as I would have liked and I noticed at 60 I got quite a bit better fuel consumption. Well in this video today we are doing an apples to apples test and first thing out of the gate when we left Boise I decided to set it at 65 miles per hour on the cruise and on Interstate 84 during that particular stretch uh, not a lot of huge hills or elevation changes so I wanted to do a pretty much even comparison and so the result was over about a hundred and twenty mile stretch of going 65 miles an hour I came in at 8.7 miles per gallon which is as low as I've ever gotten on the interstate towing my trailer and again that was at 65 miles per hour and so not good the next stretch, similar interstate, uh, similar conditions. Uh, I set the cruise at 60 miles per hour, and lo and behold, I was in the 12 miles per gallon range. And that is a drastic difference, obviously, a little over three miles per gallon more. So to just break that down, my tank holds 25 gallons. So that's 75 additional miles per tank, which is pretty significant. Um, and the interesting part about this exercise is if you're going faster because you're consuming more fuel, it means you will potentially have to make more fuel stops. And so that actually may mitigate any advantage in time that you might get from going faster. And when you factor in also the safety component where I feel a lot better uh, going 60 miles per hour, particularly when semis are passing or when I get wind gusts, it's remarkable how much more in control I feel at 60 as opposed to 65. So the safety component is a huge part of the equation. But then you obviously factor in the efficiency and economy in terms of consuming more fuel. Um, it's gonna be more expensive if you're going faster, but also you may have to stop more often. So when we add it all up in terms of this apples to apples comparison, it really confirms what I laid out in the video about a year ago that for us at least when towing 60 miles per hour is pretty much a no-brainer and so I thought it'd be uh, kind of nice to uh, update that video and kind of show you that new equation that we did a little bit more of a controlled test and if you like this kind of content make sure to subscribe ring the notification bell so you don't miss a beat and we'll see you next time right here on idaho voyager thanks for watching